Surprises during concerts are usually a good thing, but no one could have predicted a fight between band members at last night's show in the seaport by Jane's addiction. Social media was buzzing today with possible motives for the scuffle, but as WBZ's Laura Hafley tells us, it's pretty strange for a lead singer and lead guitarist to square off while on stage. A near brawl broke out in Boston between band members of Jane's Addiction, playing at Leader Bank Pavilion Friday night. I was a little surprised. They, they looked a little bit old, but uh, it was kind of interesting to see two guys fighting on top of the stage. This video caught the moment frontman Perry Farrell confronted lead guitarist Dave Navarro face to face. Farrell then throws a punch. The two were broken up. A police officer working security at the concert tells WBZ the show stopped a short time later. Very disappointing. I'm sure the tickets weren't inexpensive. Boston native Rich Wade, familiar with the famous rock band, not surprised by the violence. The band has a troubled past with a history of tension between members. This is the first time they've toured together in more than a decade. I guess if you buy a ticket to a James Addiction concert, you take your chances. Farrell's wife took to social media claiming her husband was frustrated by audio issues, saying the stage volume was too loud and his voice was being drowned out by the band, writing, by the end of the song, he wasn't singing. He was screaming just to be heard saying the lead singer later broke down and cried. The now viral video catching the attention of young people who haven't ever heard of the band before. This is like an inner band fight right now. Ian O'Donnell watching the video for the first time, blown away by the public altercation. I'm not seeing that at any other concert. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. The band did release a statement late Saturday night, reading, we want to extend a heartfelt apology to our fans for the events that unfolded last night. Refunds will be issued, and as a result, their show in Connecticut Sunday night has been canceled. We've reached out to the pavilion and the show promoter Live Nation. We did not immediately hear back. In Boston, Laura Hafley, WBZ News.